His name's Maurice, and not only was he homeless, but he had just one dollar in his pocket. He wanted a job very much, so he applied for a job at the aerospace factory, Pratt & Whitney, and his resume was well received by the company. He was called back, so he started thinking how to get there no matter what. The problem? He lived very far away from the place of the interview. He decided he couldn't miss the opportunity, so he walked all the way there, three hours, and then three hours back. Can you believe it? The walk wasn't taken for granted, and the interview went very well. The company offered a temporary position. Now that he had the job, Paulo continued to walk six hours a day to his career and back, every day. They started to worry about him, and they decided to ask him. They asked where he currently lived, and Paulo didn't want to tell them. The truth is that Paulo was homeless, and he didn't want to hurt his pride. But the company was not letting the matter go. One day, Paulo got the courage to talk to his co-workers and told them that he was a homeless man. They instantly figured that something needed to be done, and promptly. We needed to do something, and what could we do? I immediately called and we checked United Way. We got him shelter and food that night, said Paulo's manager, Kelly Johnson. And the help didn't stop there. Paulo's co-workers continued to help him all the days that followed the breaking news. They offered him shelter, food, a place to do his laundry. Paulo didn't have to walk for hours to get to work anymore. Thanks to Paulo's determination and the help of his co-workers, he continued to be successful. This was a complete turn of events that was possible because of two things, Paulo's determination and the help and comprehension from his co-workers. If you see Paulo today, you wouldn't recognize him. He has a living wage, his own house, and a car that he can drive daily to his fantastic job. What hasn't changed is his big smile that goes along with his charming personality. He's entirely up for giving a hard-working hand to the company that changed his life for good. According to Paulo, his daughter is his world, and the main reason he's not given up. He's super proud of what he's achieved, and he feels like he's living a dream that he always wanted for himself and his family. He started having nothing, and now he found a new family and support from all over the place. Sounds like the real American dream. Paulo's the living example that with determination and motivation, anything is possible, and there's always a way to turn your life around. So next time you want to hit that snooze button, Think of Paulo and you'll get up to work in a heartbeat.